In today's how-to video, I'm gonna explain the different DQs that you might encounter or observe during uh, a training and or during a match. I'm gonna approach the DQs not from a theoretical perspective, but I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna talk about all the DQs that you might have, but the most common DQs that you see and hear about during uh, especially matches. If you want to find out more about um, if and how you can get DQ'd with the specific rules, I refer to the IPSC and USPSA rulebook in which you will find in detail and in depth a complete uh, explanation on what a D DQ uh, consists of, who can give it, how, what um, avenues you have at your disposition to actually uh, appeal a DQ and so on and so on. But this is not the objective of this uh, training video. I refer to the uh, rule books if you are interested in more information on the subject. The first DQ I'm going to talk about is a DQ that um, oftentimes affects uh, beginner and very new shooters, oftentimes very nervous that they can um, participate in their first uh, match, for example. They haven't done a lot of uh, training yet, they're not 100% familiar with the different rules, and um, a DQ that might occur is as follows. Now for this uh, video you have to um, imagine that this is the safety area, um, and that I'm a new shooter, I just picked up my bag, I take out my gun, check it, and put it into my holster. This is something that I personally also observed already during matches. Um, obviously, the only location where you can uh, pull out your gun is at the designated safety area that are normally clearly marked and indicated. And if you're not sure, ask someone, preferably um, somebody of the organization. But obviously you can, you can also ask a, uh, an experienced shooter if you're not sure where the, um, the safety area is, where you can unpack your gun and where you can actually put it into your holster. Another DQ that I've already seen um, happening uh, during matches is when a shooter accidentally drops uh, his or her gun whilst not engaged and shooting a stage. Because if you lose your gun on a stage, regardless of the condition, um, that will normally automatically lead to a DQ. If you drop your gun accidentally whilst you are not actually on the stage, that might occur, and if it drops, I'm not going to drop my gun, but imagine that I'm walking around somewhere on the range and my gun dr just dropped on the floor. Uh, the intuitive action might be to actually go down and pick up the gun yourself. Obviously, if you do that, um, this is a reason also to get DQ'd. If your gun drops, whilst you are not shooting on a stage and whilst you are on a, on a range, you will stay with the gun, make sure nobody um, is around it, and then you have to call up uh, an RO to actually come, pick up the gun, make it clear, and then you will go back to the safety area where the RO will reissue you your gun. If you do this, you will probably get slapped on the fingers, but you will not get DQ'd. If you would pick up your gun by yourself without um, having an RO present that actually executes, takes you to the safety area, this will also lead to a DQ. Another way to get DQ'd um, on, uh, on a match is as follows. The RO calls you as the next shooter online. He asks you to uh, stand at the mark. He did not give you the instruction to load a Mac ready, but you pick up your gun from your holster and you load a Mac ready. If you execute this action without the uh, explicit 
um, command by the arrow, oftentimes this will also lead to a DQ. Why? Maybe you have not seen that somebody is still patching the, uh, a couple of targets. So how can you avoid this? Even when you are called online, look and listen to the arrow. And if you are in doubt, maybe he gave you the command, but you didn't hear it with your um, ear protection on. If you doubt, ask. If you doubt, don't start loading uh, your gun. So if you have any doubts, stop what you're doing, re-engage the arrow and ask him if you can load and make ready. And if he did indeed give you the command, then you can safely load uh, and make ready. Another DQ that you will see and hear about a lot is the uh, AD or the accidental discharge. That normally occurs in one of three stages on the match stage. Meaning the first is uh, you are online, the arrow gave you the command to load and make ready, so that's good. I load and make ready, put my safety on, and I will put back my gun. And then I will wait for the beep. Now, again, this uh, more often than not occurs with uh, new and beginner shooters, especially when they are a little nervous. At the beep, they will pull their gun, they don't watch their finger. The finger actually goes onto the trigger and they actually shoot around into the floor. How can you avoid this? By dry firing, paying attention to the, uh, to the beep and watching the finger. So if you pull your gun, the only way when, and the only reason why I get onto my trigger is because I want to shoot an actual target. And here, putting my finger on the trigger will lead to an accidental discharge. In this phase, the arrow will yell stop and give you the, the command to unload and show clear. The second uh, possibility to be confronted with an accidental discharge is actually whilst or just after you reloaded your gun in transition on a stage. And it would look like this. Imagine that this is the downrange uh, area. I just shot a target away. I will execute my reloads correctly, but I have my finger on the trigger. I will insert the magazine and by inserting I will jerk the, tr the trigger and also fire off an accidental discharge. And this might go into the safe direction, this might go to the ground or this might go up in the air. None of which is good. So um, while transitioning and not engaging target, make it a habit of keeping your finger on the frame. Some shooters actually put their fingers off the, the frame, this is a personal preference. This obviously is very clear to the RO, but what you cannot do is keep it on the trigger. The, the last possibility for you to get an accidental discharge is as we begun, so we will end. Meaning you finished your stage, the RO uh, gives you the command to unload and show clear. And here your manipulation is not correct. Because the normal manipulation is pull out your magazine, exit the round, and then actually firing off a dry shot. If you do this procedure incorrect, you will also be confronted with a accidental discharge. And it will look like this. You just shot, the RO gives you the command of um, unloading and showing clear, you will actually take out the magazine. You think that it's empty or you did not uh, evacuate the, uh, the round and you will fire off um, and you think that you are dry firing your gun, but actually there's still a round in the chamber and this will also lead to an accidental discharge. So also the unloading and show clear, 
make sure that this becomes an unconscious routine, meaning that you know exactly I need to take out my, um, my magazine, regardless that you know for a fact that you got your gun, for example, is 100% uh, empty, regardless thereof, you will verify. And once you verify it, that's when you will actually do your dry shot. If you don't do this, you might also be in for a surprise, leading to an accidental discharge, leading to a DQ. Another way to get uh, DQ'd by uh, an LRO is if he catches you too many times with your finger on the trigger when you are not engaging targets. For example, when you are moving, when you are transitioning. So here too, the same, the same principle applies. Train so that if you are not engaging targets, that your finger is uh, off the trigger next to the frame. Normally, the first time the arrow actually gives you or observes that you have your finger on uh, the trigger, normally they will give you a warning. But they will not give you 50 warnings. So at a certain point, it's too much. They will stop you and they will DQ you because you have your finger on the trigger, which is very dangerous, which might lead obviously to, for example, an accidental discharge. So the first time, usually they give you a warning, but if you repeat your trigger on the finger too many times, um, it's over and he will also, he or she will also give you a DQ. Another way to get DQ'd is um, to sweep yourself. Now, there are many ways to sweep yourself and sweeping yourself actually implies that the muzzle is pointed towards some part of your body. Um, I'm not going to go over all the different ways of sweeping yourself, but uh, a common one is when you need to open doors or um, latches to then shoot through a, um, an aperture or window is when you open the door, if you do this, this is sweeping yourself. Another way to sweep yourself is when you are performing a, uh, if you need to move back, and for example, you need, you opt because you have targets on the right, um, you opt to move like this. If you don't keep your, your gun up at eye level, this is safe. You cannot sweep yourself because it's over your shoulder. If you keep it too low, you will actually sweep yourself. This is another possibility. For table start, for example, for one reason or another, you, you don't grab your gun correctly. This is not only sweeping yourself, but this is also breaking the 180. So there are many ways to sweep yourself with the gun and also uh, lead you to a, a DQ. How can you avoid this? control the direction of the muzzle. And last but not least, probably the most common reason why shooters get DQ'd is breaking the 90 or more co most commonly known as the 180 degree rule. And this actually implies, imagine that that is the downrange area. It implies that if you break, if you go 90, so this is downrange, this is 90%, that for example, I need to move from the left to the right. I will do this to unload and to load. You break the 180. Or if you unload correctly and you do a manipulation like this, for example, I mean, there are many ways to actually get a DQ. One of the ways um, also to get DQ'd is imagine that this is downrange, I need to engage this target on my left hand side. This is still okay, this is still okay, but if I move one step further, I will break the 180. And even worse, if I forgot, for example, that I needed to engage the target, I remember to do it and I turn back 
and shoot it, obviously you broke the 180. So in this scenario, imagine that you forgot a target, move back, and then re-engage the target. But don't shoot from here, even when it's very close, because this is not an exact science. I mean, the arrow is not standing behind you uh, with uh, measurement uh, equipment to see whether or not you actually did break. He needs to go off by looks. And this is breaking the 180 or the 90 uh, degrees rule. So go back, re-engage, and then move further. So breaking the 90 or 180 uh, degrees rule is also a very common reason for shooters to get DQ'd. To avoid, be aware of the down range. Use yourself as the, the anchor to determine in 90 degrees angles where you, where actually you will break the, one, the 180 rule or not. Moving like the speed of sound. Keep on the ground Can't stay in one place